Hi there, it's William from X Solutions, and today we're looking at the CRX. Now the CRX is a dual extrusion, uh, extrusion model, uh, very similar to the CR5S, uh, but this is the do-it-yourself version, so it is a bit more economical. As always, very well packed, and you'll notice because it is a dual extruder, you have two rolls of PLA filament from CC Treat. You have our guidebook, so if you ever do get lost during your construction of this, you can always uh, look back here and uh, we'll give you all the answers. We have our box of goodies, I'll go through that in a bit, but this is going to contain a lot of what we're using to uh, build the frame up and fix the machine. There we have it. That is your dual extruder frame. As you can see, it has two Bowden tubes, of course, because it does require two filaments. That it is only still one nozzle. Um, that because that's because both Bowden tubes lead into it, so it can actually print both colors out of that singular nozzle. That does confer a couple advantages. I'll talk to you in a bit, uh, but that is something to note. And after the frame, we have our bed. Now, there's a couple of nice things about this new bed. First and foremost, like the CR20, it actually comes with a specialized removable mat. And I'll show you that in just one second. And also like the CR20, it's got a totally encased design. Now, it's gonna help a bit, a lot with the sound. And it also means that you don't have to worry about an external power supply getting dust or debris into it. So, now the first thing I'd like to show you is probably one of the best life of quality improvements and that is these removable little clips right there so you don't have, need any more binder clips to put a glass plate on simply put it just comes with them pre-attached you can see that's the full build plate right there so we have our plate nice and attached always good now we're, what we're going to do is just open up this box here so as you can see here, we have a couple of filament holder nuts and some extra placement pieces. Now, of course, where you're used to is just the two, uh, but this is dual extrusion, so it requires uh, two rolls of filament, so there's four in there, and all the connecting pieces. And we have second most important thing, spare parts. And these are the uh, M45s, uh, and that's what we're gonna use to put our um, frame on top of this safely and securely. Next we have our uh, USB port. We have our NA power cable. Of course, if you're outside of NA, you will receive a different power cable. And then we have some of our Allen wrenches and our cutting tool. And then finally, we have our two pieces that go together that hold our filament, our filament holders. That and like that. Ooh. How could I forget the spatula and some extra Bowden tube? So the next thing we're going to do is you'll notice that on the frame, almost all the connections are made with the exception of the Z axis. And these guys are just taped down a little bit. So we'll remove the tape safely. Now that the tape's safely off, what we can do is we can line up our frame. Just like that. Of course you want the two rods uh, facing the back and you want your extruder facing the front of the machine. So as you can see there's a slight removal in the casing. It tells you it's a good fit. You can feel that it actually falls into place. Like that. What we're going to do now is grab our M45s and grab an Allen wrench. So if you do have a table with a closed edge, what you can always do is once you line it up like that, is just go underneath. So the nice thing is, is once we get this frame on, uh, because it is a pre-assembled frame, pretty much all the connections are already done. The one thing you're gonna wanna do is connect this ribbon and just clip the two sides like that. There you go, your ribbon is now safely connected. And for the rest, you're just gonna to wanna to connect your Z-axis motors. So pretty much all that's left is to get our holders up and running. And there we go. 
that are two fully connected filament holders. So what we'll do is break out this filament. This filament comes from CC Tree. It's a PLA. So we have a PLA red and a PLA yellow. And of course, if you do like CC Tree filaments, you can always find it on mechistore.com. So just feed this filament through. You'll notice the Bowden tubes are a bit more extended than normal. That does make feeding just a bit easier. So the filaments are all set up, and now we're going to turn on the machine and get it running. So, machine's turned on, and power's working. Now let's watch. There we go. So what you'll notice is it's a full touch screen. Pretty much there's no more knob anymore for this, uh, but it's very responsive. Everything works exactly as intended, and you can easily see the temperature of everything, the hot bed, where it's going to be set, the nozzle head. Now I should note, uh, it starts in Mandarin. So what we're going to want to do there is go there, click this button right here, and swap to English. First thing we're going to do is we're going to level our bed. It's going to go right over to the corner in one second, like that. So it, it goes, normally for most printers, it would go one, two, three, four, five. This one, if you do believe there's one corner that simply isn't working, you can just go directly to it, or if you can go to the middle where most of your prints are going to be and see if it's level there. But next, we're going to go to four. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you get the USB and you want to start your test print is take out the SD card and you'll notice that when you try and print from it, no test files will appear. So what you're going to want to do, put the SD card back in your USB key, go to your computer, plug in the USB key, and you'll notice the uh, G-code file is in the beginning. You're, what you're going to want to do is copy it over into the drivers. That will effectively allow you to print. So now that we've done that, there we go, click SD, and you can see the test CRX print. And then the print button right there. This has been William from Mech Solutions. If you do like the CRX, it is available on mechistore.com. And if you do have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much and have a great day.